So this is how to um, remove the hot end and the nozzle um, from the new um, Anycubic Cobra 3 uh, print head. Um, you don't really need tools to do this, you can just do it with your hands. So there's a line running down there. So you basically need to, because there's, there's a clip up there and this clips down here. So you need to just squeeze those here. If you squeeze it on, on either side and you just pull this out and the whole um, top will come off. That's your fan. You can take this off. Um, and that's your hot end, that's your nozzle and your heat sink um, and your extruder is up there. So um, they're very easy to, to get out. They just clip in with this clip. Um, so what you can do is you can disconnect these these two wires you can't put these back in wrong um, because they only go in um, one the different sizes um, so you can't put them in the wrong way around so if you just disconnect those two um, you can use your thumb for this you all you do is you need to push it down and pull it um, I found it easier to use pliers so you just push it down and pull it out so it comes out of the heat sink um, and then your nozzle will completely come out um, very very easy and simple to do you remove the sock uh, the silicon sock like that. and that's your nozzle um, so if you want to remove the nozzle, it is easier to use pliers um, to grip this. You basically, I'm not going to take this off, but just to show you, you, you grip this and then you spanner and you just unscrew it. Um, that's how I, I took it out. And it, it, it is quite stiff. If you heat it up, it does come out easier as well. But just don't touch this because um, it does get very hot. And then to put it back, it's just reverse. Um, goes in very very easy just make sure you put your sock on and it goes right to the top and your nozzle shown through it and then just the wires will only go into one side so you just push it back up again And then you just push this back into the heat sink again. Like so. Just push it in. Uh, make sure it's not loose. And make sure the nozzle's not going to come back out again. The hot air's not going to come out. So just give it a little pull. And then just reconnect your wires. And it's all back in um, and then you just clip it on when you clip it on it's easier to put the top on at the, at the top first because you've got those two little catches so if you just push it on and it's all back together again it's that simple to actually change the nozzles on these these new uh, Cobra 3s thank you for watching um, Please subscribe if you haven't done so and um, look, keep an eye out for my next video of actually setting up the Cobra 3 printer.